So I've got my roof-mounted solar, got my ground-mounted solar. I wonder what else I could get. What I really need is someone who really understands home energy systems. <sighs> Hello, Robert. Uh -huh. The demand for solar panels has seen huge increases in recent years, with 2022 recording the biggest uptake ever, and that was mainly due to increases in energy costs. And the UK is aiming to increase its solar production by five times to 70 gigawatts by 2035. We know our audience wants to install solar, but what options are available if you can't put it on your roof? Welcome to the Everything Electric Show. There are many reasons why some homes aren't suitable for solar panels. Solar panels work best in direct sunlight, so if your home has lots of obstructions, such as buildings, trees and dormer windows, it may make the system unfeasible to install. Another reason is roof orientation. A south-facing roof will produce more than a north-facing roof. You also have to consider the tilt of your roof. A tilt of 30 to 45 degrees is perfect. Anything more than this, you can reduce the efficiency of your solar system. Some roofs aren't suitable for solar panels due to their age, condition and structural limitations. There's also planning to consider, so make sure you've checked all these out before you start. But fear not, there are solutions available for people looking to install solar. One option is ground-mounted solar like this. So I've got just over five kilowatts of peak generation from these panels and these are much more efficient and much newer than the ones on my roof. For more information on my zero carbon home, check out the link in the description box below. So the advantages of ground mounted solar are that it's much cheaper to install because you don't have to have scaffolding and get up on the roof and drill holes in your roof. All that's done with is just a simple aluminium array and that is actually screwed into the ground. There's no concrete involved. So there's literally big giant big earth screws that hold this in position. It's very easy to clean. The only disadvantage really is having room to put it in. So if you've got quite a small garden, obviously something like this is a bit difficult. Now we've featured a Cornish rocker solar mount system in a previous episode and that is an adjustable system. You can tip it according to where the sun is in the sky and in the winter that can achieve 40% more energy generation than, than a, a, a static mount like this. Support our Stop Burning Stuff Patreon and help us tackle misinformation about electric vehicles and clean energy. If your house can't have solar on the roof, then maybe your shed or outhouse can. As long as it's in a good orientation and in good condition, it's worth exploring. But please bear in mind, you will need to have cables running from your shed to your consumer unit so you can use all that captured energy. Now, if you haven't got room for a ground-mounted array in your garden, you might have room for a solar tracking system. Now, this is one single pole in the ground with a, a solar array on it that moves with the sun. So it's got a GPS in it, and that tracks where the sun is in the sky, and it shifts around, maximising the amount of energy it can generate. And there's also dual-axis systems that not only twist around that way, but they tip up and down to follow the sun in the summer and in the winter. And they really maximise the amount of energy you can get from quite a, a smaller amount of solar panels. Really clever stuff. A solar tracking system can increase the energy output on average by 40 to 45 percent in the UK. The extra energy is generated in the morning and in the evening, which matches the consumption curve of a typical household much more efficiently than a static system. Now these arrays come in various sizes, they're easy to install because you don't need scaffolding and in fact you can do it yourself if you want to, although there are installers available to do it for you. An option if you have an apartment with a balcony or outdoor space is a balcony solar system. These typically comprise of solar panels, battery storage and inverter so you can convert all that captured energy into usable electricity. The system is really easy to install by the user as all you have to do is connect the cables from the solar panels to the battery storage system and from there you just plug in your home appliances. You can also store energy in there for later use. 
So if you find none of these solutions work for you, there are other options. You can buy shares in a solar farm. Now, this is happening all over the world. It's a really interesting option. Now, in the UK, there's a company called Ripple Energy, and we've covered them before, and they have been regulars at our big live events. Their clean energy model is ideal if you can't have solar at all. By joining the cooperative, you effectively own part of a huge source of clean energy. Their current project is a solar park in North Devon with 70,000 panels and the potential to power 14,000 homes. So for more information, we'll put a link in the box below. Solar is a great source of clean energy and today hopefully we've shown you several solutions for pretty much every type of home. So as always, if you have been, thanks for watching.